Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm bloody marvellous. Yes. Whereabouts are you? You're not in London, are you? Just I'm not... in Los Angeles, baby. Uh, well, no, I was talking no to lockdown. my mother in England this morning. She was telling me how cold it was. So that's that's why I'm yeah. in a good... <laughs> cold, cold, and now tier three in London, whatever, uh, whatever that means. But uh, hey, no better in California. <laughs> <other than this. laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Uh, congratulations on the film. I watched it last night. Really enjoyed it. Thank you. Uh, I just wondered for you. Obviously, you've made a few of these kind of video game adaptations before, but this one, it seemed like you made a decision to uh, put the audience in the game as if they were playing the game for the first time. You know, we're following a character. I just wondered how how kind of that helped get your kind of creative juices flowing that it was something a little bit different and wondered how much kind of freedom that gave you to to not just have to you know make something like you do with Mortal Kombat where you have to have certain characters and everything else and, and well, gave I you a, sort of, a to, bit of a license well um I was trying to recreate the experience of playing the game for the first time because when you play the game you are you create your own character so it's a new mm. character and then you go into this world which 10 years ago was the first time I went into this world and I was just blown away by these epic landscapes and these giant monsters i mean i thought oh this is so cinematic you know so that's you follow mila's character into this world but then once you know you're seeing the world through fresh eyes but once she gets there obviously what she's doing is she's meeting characters from the video game so every character she meets there is uh, taken directly from the game so you kind of in a way you kind of have your cake and eat it you get to see the world with a sense of wonder through fresh eyes um, and I think it is a wonderful world. I mean, I think it, it's it's kind of epic. Um, but then you also, once she's there, you kind of stay very true to the video game on which it's based. Yeah. And it, I mean, the, the film felt very physical. You know, it's a video game and it could have been quite easily quite a big, you know, CGI fest. But at the core of it, there's a lot of physical stuff. I mean, how important was that for you to have kind of as much physicality to the film locations and, and settings very... and everything else? It was very important to make the movie as real as possible. And, you know, that's not the easiest thing when you're making a movie with giant monsters in it. Um, and I, I knew, you know, obviously the creatures, no one was going to let me breed giant monsters and have them fight for real. That would have been fun. <laughs> if I could do that, I would have done it. Um, but having accepted that the creatures had to be CG, I then made a decision that absolutely everything else in the movie should be as real as possible. So we shot against a green screen for just one day Everything else was done in real landscapes um, that we went to some extreme locations to find. Often we were hundreds of miles from the nearest habitation with uh, the cast and crew all living in tents. Um, it was pretty, it was a pretty insane shoot in that regard. But what we captured was a sense of reality that I think the audience should really respond to because the only thing you're gonna be looking at that's CG are the creatures and all those creatures are locked into reality. Um, so I think it's, it's a much more realistic movie than if we'd shot it just on the back lot of a studio against a green screen. Yeah. And obviously, you know, the landscape of movies is, is, is forever changing. Obviously it's changed more this year because of what's been happening. But for you as a filmmaker, I mean, uh, are you are you are you hesitant about the fact that these kind of, if you make these big movies, they might just go on streaming now, or are you still open to the fact that an audience gets to see the movie, however they choose? It's a, a fun movie is a fun movie. And, mm. um, you know, Monster Hunter is a really fun movie. And uh, believe me, I've seen it on every format. I've seen it on IMAX. I've seen it on Dolby screens. I've seen it on my laptop. And I've also watched it on my iPhone. And I've got to tell you, I've enjoyed it in every single format. You know, obviously my preference would be to go watch it on IMAX because we shot it in these epic landscapes. But, you know, the chemistry between Mila and Tony, the excitement of the fights, it holds up no matter what you watch the movie on. Um, and I think, you know, those, that's the world we live in right now. Um, and I'm, I'm excited for people to see the movie, however they choose to see the movie. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Absolute pleasure talking to you and good luck with the yes. film. Thanks. Thank you so Bye. much. Cheers. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!